Now, if we have x cubed equals one, we know that one answer is x equals one. But what are the other answers? Because this is, has a degree of three, that means there should be three answers. Well, there's no real answers that work, but there are complex answers that work, numbers that use imaginary numbers. So both of these solve it. So let's take this top one and let's cube it. And we're basically seeing, does it equal one? So cubing it means multiply it by itself three times. So let's do that. I'll set up a box. So to multiply this, I'm gonna do these two first. So now we're multiplying this one, which is this right here by this one, which is this right here. So negative one half times negative one half, that's positive one fourth. And when we multiply this by this, we introduce a negative. And since it's one half, it's gonna have a four on bottom and then the I root three on top. This times this is the same thing. We have a negative and then the I root three on top and then two times two is four on bottom. And for this last box, we're gonna do I root three over two times I root three over two. I times I is I squared. Root three times root three is root three squared and two times two is two squared. We can clean this up. I squared is the same thing as negative one. Root three squared is the same thing as three and two squared is the same thing as four, just negative three fourths. So if we pull all this stuff on the inside and add it all up, and if we combine these two, we end up getting negative I root three over two and then one fourth minus three fourths is negative one half. So now all of this here, when multiplied changes into this right here. So we can update that. And now we just need to multiply these two by each other. So let's erase all this stuff. So let's put this one on top and we'll put this one on the side. Negative one half times negative one half, well that gave us one fourth. So this guy right here times this would end up being a negative I root three over four. And this piece times this piece is positive I root three over four. So last we have this times this, which is negative I squared root three squared over two squared. The I squared becomes negative one and this negative one times this negative becomes positive. Root three squared becomes three and two squared becomes four. Now we can pull all this inside stuff out and add them together. These two pieces cancel each other out, and then one fourth plus three fourths is equal to one. And that's it. We showed that this cubed is equal to one. So the same thing's true for the other one. So there are three solutions. This is true for any polynomial equation. Whatever the degree is, is how many solutions there are. It's just some of those solutions might be weird complex numbers.